Hey guys, I am back with another video on my Monday and Tuesday hair prep. I usually work long days at work, so Mondays and Tuesdays are my day to catch up, keeping ready for my lace installs for the week. Um, so I have a bunch of hair over here. Excuse my kitchen, the background stuff, and obviously I like to drink. But um, also I'm drinking my tea. But um, I have a bunch of hair right now. Um, this, all of this hair, this pack came in from Me and More Bundles by Janika. This blonde hair is not hers. I'm actually about to dye this blonde hair orange, which I'm probably going to do a time lapse so you guys can see my process of watercoloring these bundles. This is my setup. Um, I am going to watercolor um, some orange bundles and I am using Sunrise Orange by Adore as well as um, Orange Blaze. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that, but um, I am setting up for my install. So I need to color one with this um, and then I need to dye some other ones um, jet black. I love to use Revlon, honestly, because it's cheap and I have to dye hair black a right, lot. So I just boil a pot of water. Um, this shit had a tail, so I'm going to be cautious as I'm doing this, but I'm going to pour this water into that book, okay? So pray for me. Um, but honestly, you guys, be careful when you do this because this water is hot and you will burn yourself. Um, but I just boiled this in my big ass green pot, and I'm just going to pour it into here. And I'm going to mix two. Um, sunrise orange with one orange blaze um, to get the color that I am trying to achieve. So let's put this in here. So as you put this in here, you honestly should stir it because you want to get all of this mixed in. I believe that this is three bundles of 26 inch 613 hair and a 20 inch closure that I am going to dip dye. As you see here, I do use a white tooth comb to comb the hair through as I dip it so that the color disperses evenly because it is easy to streak hair as you watercolor. Um, but this is the look that um, I got. I'm gonna take it out now because I don't wanna make it too dark. I just put it in a separate pot. Um, and then these are the bundles. Um, when you take them out, you dip them and it honestly is so much easier to do it this way um, so that um, it doesn't tangle because in my previous video you may see that it tangled quite a bit um, and I did it, um, I detangled it off camera. And this here is the finished product. You will see me combing it out and drying it. Alright, so now I am going to dye some more bundles. And again, this is bundles from my baby Janika. This is me and more bundles, baby. Look at the flow. Just look at it. Just look at it. It just, it blows in the wind, sis. If your bundles don't do this, throw them away, okay? So this is my process on how I color a closure jet black. Um, it is crucial that you do hand paint this and you do part it evenly and paint um, the closure with a brush. I do spritz the back of the lace with got to be spray as well as coat it with a layer of got to be gel just to be sure that the lace um, does not get black. And here for the bundles, I don't do anything specific. I literally just squeeze the um, dye onto the hair and I use a brush and disperse it. I comb it, I use my hands, and I do not have any particular way. I do have this sitting on a glove so I know that the um, dye is not getting on the lace. And yes, I will show you guys what it looks like rinsed out. That is still processing. I just finished that over there. Also look at this orange. Obviously you can tell what colors I like. Um, so yes, um, let's get into the next bundles. So these are two closures from, again, Me and More Bundles. Um, this is a deep um, curly texture and this is a um, deep lace texture. And uh, honey, it's bouncing, okay? Um, nice thin lace. Um, and again, this is my friend's hair company. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys how I bleach my closures. What you will need is powder bleach that are developer, gloves, a bow, and a brush. So now I am going to um, bleach these closures. 
Um, when you bleach your closure, be sure that all of the hair is pulled back. Um, in the case that you can't get the hair to stay down, you can honestly just rip it, which I got to be, just to lay down the flyaways. Um, but yes, be sure to make sure that all of the hairs and the baby hairs are out of the way when you process it, just so that you don't get um, the hairs. Next, we are going to take some powder bleach and some 30 developer to bleach the knots. Um, I don't measure this out, I honestly just do it by eye. consistency that I use my bleach um, it shouldn't be able to just swing off but it should move so this is correct when I bleach the closures I do like to hold the hair and pull the lace just so that I have a nice firm surface to paint onto I feel like I have better control of my brush as well as the bleach when I do it this way should literally be on the lace only and barely touching the knot. I am going to rinse the dye off of the jet black lace and dry the lace really quick and begin to bleach that so I will be 100% complete with my bundles for the week. I still have all of this hair over here that I need to co-wash so um, okay so now that I have um, I rinsed out the closure really quick um, nice and clean everything clean um, I rinsed off the closure so now I am going to go blow dry the lace to make sure that it and the roots are dry before I begin to um paint the uh, closure with bleach. Now this here is the finished product of all the bundles co-washed, bleached, and ready. I just need to pluck them, get into this hair. Again, this is Meat or More Bundles. I will leave a link below for you to purchase hair. So here I'm just showing you the lace. This is the closure that I dyed jet black. The lace is still clean, nothing on the lace. This is as well the orange hair that I dip dyed. The lace is clean. And then here is the deep curly bundles by me and more bundles. I love it. Look at the closure. It's nice and it's giving me exotic vibes, okay? And then the next hair that I will show you is the deep wave by me and more bundles. This is my hair. This is hair for our shoot on Sunday, which I cannot wait to post pictures. All right, you guys, that is it for my video today. I hope that you enjoyed it, um, and I will be back with another video.